And I want to take a look at this tape real quick here so we can talk about what was going on here. Where are the keys for the car? Um, my boyfriend has them. So the, the seat positioning in the car wouldn't have allowed him to drive? No, I drove. I drove here. Your car was just involved in a hit and run collision where a pedestrian was hit. And don't make faces like you don't know no, what I'm talking about, but listen I to me. Okay, now at this point, he's saying, don't make faces like you, you don't understand this. So it's clear there's confirmation bias here. They've made up their mind. Now they've got her, a smashed up windshield, and they've decided she's the bad actor. So at this point, you're going to see they don't let her talk. They keep interrupting her, and they start lying to her, which police are allowed to do, and most people don't know that. So that's why I say you don't talk to them. It's an uneven playing field. It is okay for police to lie. Not saying it should be, but it is, right? Yeah, under the law, the police can lie and exaggerate you to try to elicit a confession out of you. Let's listen. Oh listen listen okay. to me. Leaving the scene of an injury accident is a felony. This isn't my first day. I know that you're, you were driving and you were worried about it because you're drinking. You can ask the... Okay, now they're saying you've hit somebody. That's a felony. You left the scene. That's a felony. Your DUI... We've, they're just naming up charges here. They're writing this all out. And at this point, that's why I say, you shouldn't be saying anything except, I want a lawyer, I want a lawyer, I want a lawyer, because this isn't going to go well. There's nothing you can say that's going to help you here. And it's so crazy because I thought, okay, wait, no, this is a big mistake. And I was just thinking, yeah, I'm going to tell them the truth. <laughs> And it's gonna, they're gonna believe me. They're gonna look into the bar that I was just at. <laughs> and it was gonna be okay. All right, let's listen. Hi fi security guard. Like, then how did your car have damage on your windshield? I have no idea. Because of the nature of the incident and the injuries, if you continue to say we don't know that you're driving and you don't know what happened to your car, we're gonna do DNA tests and all sorts Absolutely, of other things to yes. the car. And it's gonna I, show that you were in the driver's seat. Yes, but I wasn't driving it. Then who drove it? I don't know. When you leave the scene of an accident and then... Okay, that's already asked and answered. They're now just bullying you and badgering you and trying to get you to say something to contradict what you said before so they can use it against you later. Can you glass on her? I didn't see any. I asked. If you look from the angle, there's little specks of it on her shirt. Okay, he's saying, you see glass on her? One officer says, no, I don't see any. He said, well, get around the side. You see the glass there? Oh, yeah, okay. No, you don't. You don't see any glass on it. But he's saying, I see glass on your shirt. No, he doesn't, because there isn't any. It's, it's an absolute lie. And he's trying to get Yessie to confess something, but she didn't have anything to confess because she didn't do anything wrong. All right, well, let's look at this right quick. Can I see that? When we're done, I, need, I don't have time. Okay, when you say, I can, can I see that? In Arizona, this requires a warrant, and you're saying they told you they had a warrant, correct? Correct. And you asked to see it, and they said, correct. no, I don't have time. What? They did have a warrant, but yes, they wouldn't asked, show it. They to wouldn't her. show it to her, and all they had to do was take it out and show it to Yessie and say, "Hey, this is the warrant. Might I take your blood?" And and Yessie would have complied with the warrant, but the officer was extremely rude, okay. very rude to her. They made her strip down naked, and now she's already humiliated by being stripped, and and now she's just scared. You can see in her face, she's just scared, and she doesn't know what to do now. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.